So how do we know it's lupus that causing this cognitive problem or the anxiety or the depression? And that's where we go back to our research. I work with Dr. Betty Diamond, and really Dr. Diamond was the uh, first to show that certain autoantibodies, if they get into the brain, can actually attack neurons. And neurons are the cells in the brain that are responsible for thinking. Each time I open my mouth to speak and I'm trying to remember which word to say, it's a lot of synapses in all these neurons firing all at once. So you can imagine if something is attacking a neuron and causing problems with those synapses, that will make me have trouble finding my words or remembering what I was going to say or why am I standing on this street corner? How did I get here? Dr. Diamond, as I said, was really one of the very first to demonstrate that these autoantibodies, if they get into the brain, sometimes they attack neurons and they attack neurons exactly in the wrong places. So that was a huge discovery. But then people, you know, everybody rightfully so said, well, antibodies are big molecules. How do they get into the brain? We have a protective barrier that is supposed to protect our brain from things like autoantibodies or bacteria or viruses. But we've discovered again through our research and others that this protective barrier, the blood brain barrier, is not so protective in lupus. And in fact, it allows things to get into the brain that perhaps shouldn't. So that's one mechanism where lupus itself could actually cause problems with cognition.